This is Linda of Christ is King forever. There are four times Jesus wept. He wept at Lazarus' tomb. He wept entering Jerusalem. He wept at the garden. He wept at the cross. There are four major earthquakes. Three major earthquakes, but I'll, I'll explain. One, when he rose from the dead. One, when Jesus enters Jerusalem in the last days, when he returns and puts his foot on the mountain. And the third time that there was an earthquake that happened to match very closely to um, when Jesus was weeping, was on the cross. He cried and said, Father, let this pass from me. I'll, I'll put, I'm going to make a whole video with the verses there. But at the cross, there was an earthquake, which is where Jesus cried. And the Holy Ones rose after the earthquake and appeared before everybody in Jerusalem. And then like he did to his own people, uh, walking with his disciples later uh, after he rose from the dead. But all the Holy Ones rose out of the grave after the earthquake, after he died on the cross, right after he took his last breath. And this happens in Matthew, Zechariah 14. So this is Matthew 27, Zechariah 14, um, Matthew 27, 50, 55 and 56. Okay. So those are the verses. I'll do a video on it. And he says, uh, in front of Lazarus grave, Lord, I know you hear me. He says to the father, father, I know you hear me. Please do this so that everybody standing here will believe. And what was he doing? He was rising somebody from the dead. He also makes a reference to the hymning in of, of Jerusalem and in the same place, um, you know, when he's weeping on, this sounds like a rant. <laughs> what I'm saying is in all the places where he wept, there's a matching and it matches when, when Israel has to deal with the return of Jesus Christ with a major earthquake, with the Jacob's trouble, which is the, the Jews fleeing, um, into, I think it's Penel. Some say it's Petra. I think it's Penel. Penel is where the face of God is and where Jesus, not Jesus, Jacob wrestled with God. And, um, we believe it was Jesus that Jacob was wrestling with. This is just a thing. I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, cause you cannot see the face of God and live, but you know, Jesus is the high priest. Uh, you know, uh, he is at the second hand, uh, the right hand of the father. And you do not see Jesus's face until you've died to yourself until you have died to your own desires and everything. So it is a real death, you know, and you have the Holy Spirit because you have the Holy Spirit. You can see the face of God, which is, Je which is Jesus. That was a rant right there. But in w about him weeping in the garden, it's at the foot of a mountain that he's weeping. And it just seems kind of interesting to me because it, it reminds me of the, the distress of the time of a certain group of people during this time um, when they're going to have to be faced with the truth of who he is. And it's something, you know, like right now, I think it's in Petra or in Pinal. Uh, there are actually people who have buried uh, Bibles all over this place uh, because that's where they're said to, the, the Jews will flee. So there are people who are rooting and, and I, and we, and I understand, like, I understand the culture is, is wonderful and it's way better than I think some Christian culture, you know, very tight community. Um, and you know, there's traditions and rituals and it's probably a hard thing to, to leave. I know because that's why I'm back at the Catholic church. So, <laughs> um, anyway, those four times during the distress at the foot of the mountain happens to be a, a fault line right there at that mountain too. Uh, the, my, my biggest issue is the only reason why I'm not doing a video right now on it is outside the fact that I have to go to work in 10 minutes is because I don't know the layout of Jerusalem. I don't know the layout of Israel. I don't know where these places are. And so I'm kind of going off of the little bit that I do know. And so I'd like my research to be a little bit more thorough before doing a video on exactly what foot of what mountain, where it is, if it's the same mountain that we believe Jesus will put his foot down on and the earthquake will occur when he returns. But these statements that he makes and the fact that he's saying before a tomb where he wept for the one who's about to be resurrected, 
God, I know you hear me. Let this happen. So everybody here standing here will actually know and believe because of this miracle. And he enters Jerusalem weeping. And um, he has a statement about Israel being hemmed in from the sides and a blindness uh, because they knew what real peace would be. B, I believe the peace would come in his name, you know, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord is when Jesus will return. And him dying on the cross, matching Zechariah, where the earthquake occurs, and then the holy ones are, appear in the city. This all makes sense to me. I don't know, maybe that doesn't make sense to anybody else, but it definitely makes sense to me. Uh, on record, Google says that he only wept f three times, but he actually did weep four. So this is Linda of Christ is King forever. Maybe it may this made no sense. But may God be with you.